Hi everyone, I am super excited to have with me a dear student, Dr. Manav Shah. He has secured an amazing rank 14 in INICT May 2023. So heartiest congratulations, Manav. It's an amazing rank and I'm sure that, uh, you know, you now that it has settled in, you uh, ki you've really achieved something. Because I think it's going to get out of the time. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. And uh, yesterday, I had my convocation as well. So it was a Ooh. good cherry on the top. Wow. Moment for that me, is, yeah. Yes, that is uh, nothing better than that, right? Yes, ma'am. And in a grand style. Hai na? With all the friends and family and the nostalgia was amazing. Yes, absolutely. I think that's the best way to celebrate. So wonderful, wonderful uh, performance, Mana. We all know that getting these ranks is very aspirational for everyone. We all know that a lot of hard work goes into it. But we really want to know how you did it. Right? So Mana has been a three-year student with us. So he's been working really hard. Nothing comes easy. So, Manav, can you tell us a little about your strategy when you started? What was at the back of your mind? Uh, how were you telling yourself what are you going to achieve and how would you work? So, ma'am, I, I, when I started with the first year, I was not really aware about how MBBS works. And yeah. so I just, uh, you know, consulted my seniors and they told me just to focus on the concepts. So I started with reading the textbooks. So right. first and second year was mainly about reading textbooks and building on the concepts. So Thank after you. third year and in the final year, I started, you know, uh, with the dance notes and dance lectures. I used to make my own notes and, you know, keep revising it. After the weekend lecture, I used to revise it for the whole week. Right. And uh, I used to keep giving subject twice, you know, keep you okay. know, revising and uh, doing it. And... Uh, and uh, when my final year started, uh, I used I started giving grant tests along with it, so okay. that really helped me, uh, you know, get get the revision process started initially, like before my internship begins. Since internship is really heavy, I had to plan it accordingly. So yeah. So Manav, आपने बहुत अच्छी-अच्छी दो-तीन चीजें बोली हैं, बेटा. मैं जानना चाहूँगी कि how uh, how much these things have contributed. Number one, you started fairly early. Right in your preparation, do you yes, think starting early gives you an edge, and also in it also uh, you know makes it a little less worrisome as well because you can divide your work over a period of time and go into the depth of the content building. Definitely, ma'am. So consistency is the key in the whole process. I used to make sure that I study every day, like be it even one hour a day. But I used to make yes. sure that I study. So you know, I, uh, and. Uh, then, uh, like, focusing on the concepts was very important. Yes. You can't just memorize the whole 19, 19 subject syllabus. Yes. So I would just focus on making, building the concepts. When I'm reading for the first time, I would think about how should I understand, how should I make it easier to remember. I would make some mnemonic. I would, you know, uh, try to understand a uh, picture or something in a different way. So I don't have to memorize each and every fact. Yeah. So I would you know actually when I'm when I'm solving a question, I 60-70% of the questions I just keep deriving it from some of the other concepts I've read. I don't actually memorize the stuff. Very so good. yeah, that really helps. Because Mana, Mujhe lagta hai ye baat is particular exam mein bahut help ki hogi. because you know the paper was a little atypical, okay. right? And I think yeah. it was theory intensive as well. So aap kya uske bare mein batana chahoge about the current trend and pattern of INICT? So from this year's INI was slightly difficult, uh, different in the way that uh, there were less number of PYQs firstly. Yes. And both uh, questions were concept based. Yes. You know, after you actually think and there are multiple choice correct, like A, B, C, A, B, D and all those questions. So it starts, you know, it basically tests you from right from the basic. Mm. And your analysis there, there was question like a true and false, con which of the following is not false, not true. You have to be very focused on the question. Yes. And the pattern pattern was a lot of lot of images were asked. Yes. So, you know, they were testing your basic knowledge of pathology, microbiology, right from the basics. So the first pre and paraclinical subjects were of high weightage. Okay. I think it's more than 
बहुत ही वाइटल पॉइंट बोल रहे हो मानव बिकॉज यू नो वेन यू सी मल्टीपल कम्पलीशन टाइप क्वेश्चन लाइक ए इज ट्रू ए प्लस बी इज ट्रू और ए प्लस बी प्लस सी या मल्टीपल ट्रू फॉल्स मुझे लगता है ये ऐसे क्वेश्चन हैं जो एक एम सी क्यू नहीं है इसमें एवरी ऑप्शन इज एन एम सी क्यू बाई इट सेल्फ सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी थ्योरी इंटेंसिव यू हैव टू बी गुड विद योर कंटेंट इन एबल टू डू वेल विद दी पेपर राइट अच्छा आप मुझे ये बताओ सिंस यू टॉक अबाउट यू नो the weightage of the subjects and uh, can you help us or students who are listening to you on how you think the preparation was different from neat pg uh, while you are preparing for ini set so ini set uh, has a lot of different variety of questions neat has only single option correct whereas as i as i said multiple completion type reason assertion type lot right. more image based questions and you know some uh, difficult co- concepts of bio bio statistics yes. and there was a lot more weightage of pre and para clinical subjects like first and the second year subjects compared to neat pg neat pg has more of the final year subjects right. and right. even like uh, there was a lot of integration in the question question paper like there was a case given and there was some radiology or some pathology given and then they were asking okay, what what about the disease they were not asking the diagnosis which which happens in neat Yeah. they were actually asking the uh, fact about that particular disease so, you know that was really testing uh, three levels of uh, you know integration as a whole i think again a very very vital point that the patterns in both the exams are changing they're making it more and more integrated although definitely yes there are certain factual and memory based questions as well but i think that is there to give a balance to the paper because you can't give all integration so there will be some factual some one liners but i think overall the trend is moving towards vertical and horizontal integration especially with respect to first and second year subjects okay that was a, again a very very important point that you highlighted manav manav mujhe kya ye bhi bataoge how important do you think was making your own notes and uh, how soon do you think one should start giving the tests See, I'm not talking about Q banks. Q banks would have a lot of unnecessary right. stuff, which make you beat around the bush, uh, make you learn a lot of facts about it. Because you know, a lot of times it's like a lot of information there. I think what is more vital is testing. So these two things I really want you to highlight or tell about your strategy. Uh, yes, ma'am. So making notes was one of the like the best things I ever did. It was okay. difficult initially. you know me with the pace of the lectures and everything it was difficult and sometimes it, it used to get boring also but uh, yeah definitely one of the things i would recommend to each and every person and uh, making your own notes i would you know i remember each and every page like what, what is there in what side of the page and those diagrams that i drew myself it really helps to understand and whenever you are uh, you know marking question marking your points that will uh, like in different colors in your own notes That is going to be a different kind of a memory altogether. And uh, now, as far as the solving part is concerned, my strategy was when I am reading some something on say day one, I would solve the questions related to it on day three, and then revise it again on day seven. So you know, I am doing the active recall process each time I am solving a question. Right. It's neither late or not not too early to solve that question accordingly. So you know, uh, yeah. you are actually recalling the question. You are trying to read the concept. and whenever the question after the question is correct or incorrect that does not matter you have to read the explanation and why the other options are not correct yes you know so you're learning the concept as a whole not just remembering the mcq or the answer you are learning the whole concept i think absolutely and, uh, manav i must say hats off on your strategy because i think it's very well planned and that's how it should be see hard work bahut sare bacche kar rahe hain aur in fact sab karna bhi chahte hain yeah. but there has to be a differentiator right and please listen to his interview it is it is something very very important that he is highlighting you know notes especially one thing i want to say what he said ki initially it does take time but jab aap apne bana lete ho uske baad successive revisions make it much make it shorter because wo aapko retention zyada rehta hai as compared to something else which could be easier in the first go magar baad mein kuch yaad hi nahi rehta hai so you have to go again all over it. और दूसरी चीज जो उसने बोली है वो है एमसीक्यू प्रैक्टिस अनलेस यू आर फाइंडिंग आउट योर मिस्टेक्स एंड गोइंग बैक टू देम एमसीक्यू प्रैक्टिस वोंट हेल्प सो प्लीज स्टॉप काउंटिंग द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस मैंने 100 कर लिए 1000 कर लिए 10000 कर लिए आई थिंक व्हाट ही इज सेइंग इज मोर वाइटल प्लीज गो बैक टू योर मिस्टेक्स 
and rather than mugging up about the answer of that particular question learn the approach that's what he's saying why if b is the answer why a c d is not rather than learning more and more about point b you know what happens is ki hum kya karte hain gestational diabetes hai ek cheez ka answer ho gaya aur uske niche pure teen paragraph gestational diabetes pe likh diye par fir bhi ye samajh nahi aaya ki a answer kyun nahi tha ya c kyun nahi tha ya kya aisa badal jayega that a will become the answer right so i think yes, those are the key areas that he's trying to focus that he did himself and he is asking you to focus as well perfect manav and bache can you tell us about your revision program let's say after uh, neat or after the particularly neat because that is the one that happened last uh, how did you yeah. change your strategy and how did you plan your revisions so i'm after i got the neat rank of 23 i uh, you know got back to the basics that i have to prepare my pre and para clinical subjects first and uh, i started with the pyqs because uh, i nice the usually as i wait as of pyqs so i just uh, jotted down all the important topics that are frequently asked and i i started doing it in an integrated way uh, okay. for example see there is uh, something like a uh, sarcoidosis or some ib uh, cross disease and all i would just start right from physiology part then the pharma and then the patho and then the medicine and even the surgical aspect of it so you know i'm doing a whole concept as a whole so whenever the question is asked when the question is about not about the diagnosis but about the management i'm pretty aware of the whole flow and as to how a patient is going to present to me and how i am supposed to think about the management so that really helped me and perfect yeah so bahut again uh, i have to stress because wo bahut key key baatein bol raha hai देखो उसने पहले सिस्टम वाइज नहीं किया है फर्स्ट ही हैज इंश्योर्ड कि वो अपने सब्जेक्ट को थरो कर ले और जब क्लोज टू एग्जाम जाना है दैट इज द टाइम दैट ही हैज डन इट इंटीग्रेटेड एंड आई थिंक दैट इज द वे टू डू इट रिवीजन शुड बी द वन व्हिच शुड बी इंटीग्रेटेड एक बार पहले कंप्लीशन का सेंस आना चाहिए सब्जेक्ट में थरोनेस होना चाहिए तभी इंटीग्रेट भी कर पाएंगे व्हाट यू सजेस्ट मानव बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वुड आस्क यू सर शुड आई स्टार्ट इंटीग्रेटेड और यू नो हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट so uh, at least a revision ho jana chahiye so that you have a rough idea about where to actually search and what to exa- exactly read and uh, then once you are done with that you can you know start doing it sub system wise that is how i used to do like cardiovascular i used to like do it in a first aid manner so and at then physio then patho then pharm so you know your management part is very clear if there is something like anti arrhythmic is asked you will know which which class it is what are the side effects because you already read format and then when a question is asked about medicine you know you are integrating the whole patho pharm and uh, medicine along the whole in the whole flow so that really helped me that's wonderful and uh, you know uh, manav uh, did you appear for the cbt's beta that we kept for the uh, exam yes and... ma'am cbt was like one of the best decisions i did and uh, okay. the exam was so so much similar to the whole thing and many of my friends got the same center of the exam as the cbt as well so oh, a lot wow. of a lot of simulation over there yeah. and the questions were really really good and it as i just said it covered almost all the pattern of questions which were there and i got rank of 3 and 4 in both the cbts of wow. dance so you are you have been a consistent performer and it uh, yes i would say the cbt rank more or less correlates i mean there can be a little shift because eventually the day of the exam matters a lot yeah but when you give it in the examination hall it it actually bahut sara stress na aas paas dekh kar bhi hota hai apart from your own preparation so if you give it in a simulated way to wo thoda sa stress levels ko pacify karta hai it helps you perform optimally right acha ab exam day strategy ki baat karte hain ya ek din pehle ya ek hafta pehle pehle to aapne let's say one week pehle kya revise kiya tha aur exam day ke bare mein aap kya batana chahoge how aggressive you went what do you think are the number of correct questions and so on so ma'am about one week before the exam i just said i had my, i had many points jotted down which topics are frequently asked so i just went through those topics once and okay. those marked points from my own notes i just said i used to color mark the whole notes yeah. and the important points so i just went through it once and uh, after that for the exam, the exam day i made so that i had good sleep before the exam Uh, a good breakfast, and when I went in, I was pretty sure that I have to attempt at least one ninety questions, so that you know actually I'm in the race of the in the top ten or top twenty. So, true. but the questions were slightly difficult, so I could attempt only one eighty eight. 
I did not want to go into the negative parts. So, you know, I had to be slightly conservative about that. So I attended 188, and approximately I got 165 to 170 questions correct. Wow, that's wonderful. That's that's a very good score. And so I used to like make a make a point that uh, I cover my I do finish the whole paper once in around two hours maximum. Okay. So I, I at least get one time point? to revise. Definitely, man. Okay, because a lot of students I had one hour left. Yeah. Punch. So I had one hour left, and uh, I first did the question which I was, you know, uh, slightly tricky about, and uh, then I just left the question which I was not sure and I was not going to attempt, and I just read, uh, went through the whole two uh, hundred questions once again. So that wow. was the plan. Oh, like, again, did you change questions of thrice? Oh my! Yeah, God. I did change when it, it changed from correct to incorrect. See, this is what happens even with toppers. Please don't change your answers, right? Okay. So, but yes, you're the first one, Manav, who is actually telling me that you could finish the exam way before the time limit because they've taken a lot of interviews even yesterday about ten twelve, and they all said that it was really neck to neck with respect to the time. And uh, so, can you give some tips on time management because you seem to have really mastered it? Yes, ma'am. So I had actually given the USMLE Step One exam in third year. So okay. I am used to those long stems and you know long, long questions. Uh -huh. So as you had said in the lecture as well, I used to read the question first. You know, uh, there were there are points where you know the questions are like which of the following is not which of the following is not true. So I would just read the options and find out which is not true. I don't have to read the entire stem. Yes. You know that that was one strategy, and uh, then I would uh, you know just uh, like read through the stem, find out, glance through the important points. I just pick up four, five, four, five words and try to get the get to the diagnosis. Like if there's a case of sarcoid, there will be like calcification given. There is uh, everything on orders are mentioned. So I just have to glance through the important words, and I will get to the answer. So I don't have to really actually read the whole question because of the US family definitely it will really help you. Yes, so you know that's that's important. You have to find out the keywords. You have to join the keywords. You have to see the last line. And uh, you know, then answer smartly. So wonderful, uh, um, you know, Manav. And uh, what branch do you want to pursue, Bache? Ma'am, I'll be. I'm mostly gonna pursue uh, internal medicine at G S Anugar. Wow. Okay. Great. I hope I get it. Of course, I'm sure that you will, and you will do really well. Wish you all the very best for a bright future ahead. And you know, as we, uh, you know, um, come to an end with the interview, I really want to ask you. What would be one non-academic advice? I mean, we've talked about subjects, strategies, and everything. Can you tell us, yeah. uh, whoever is listening to you, something about your mindset or anything else apart from core academics, which you think is really important to do well in the exam? Uh, Ma'am, so one thing which was there in my mind was you have to study hard and party even harder. So whenever I'm doing something else, something non-academic. I would really give it all, like whenever I'm playing or you know, you know, relieving my stress. I had a good, good set of friends as well, like all friends which used to always cheer me up. You know, whenever I get us, uh, uh, I did not get a good rank. They used to cheer me up. We used to, you know, have a group study group, uh, study group, and we used to discuss important topics, the questions which went wrong. So the friend circle is important. You know, being a positive circle, they don't have to be toppers for that. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's not to be I... your friends who really care about you, and uh, like when you, I used to play cricket whenever I was, I was, I was, I was stressed about stuff, like I was stress reliever. I just so do you like to, games. do you do you like to bowl or do you like to hit a six? What bowl. what do you prefer to do? Okay, great. great. No, no, I'm a bowler. Chalo, that's that's wonderful. And a fast pace or a spin bowler? Super fast. Super fast. All right. Now I'm getting scared. I might get hit by it now. Okay. So wonderful, wonderful, Mano. It was an absolute pleasure to interact with you, and wish you a super bright future ahead. May you always keep smiling and shining the way you are doing today. Right. So entire Dams family wishes you good luck, and stay connected to us. It's an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much, and thank you very much to the Dams team as well. Thank you, Bache. God bless you. Take care. Really lucky to have got a got got a chance to interact with you, Manav. Yes, we would love to meet as well personally, right, Manav? Let's let's make that happen. Definitely, Manav. Definitely. Sure. God bless you. Take care. Thank you so much.